Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Minister M.L. Kimball coming to you live, and I am so thankful and grateful for this morning. I am thankful to have breath in my body. I am thankful that the Most High gave me another chance at life today. Um, I want you to please like, share, and comment on this video, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not done so yet. Uh, this is going to be a very quick video, but this is going to give enlighten you on some of the things that were told to us that is proved to be lies. Yes, that's correct. The story of evolution is a complete lie, and I have evidential proof of why this was removed from the scriptures, and it was also removed from evidence of, of, of what they taught us in school. And so school came up with this scamified story called evolution that does not exist, and there is evidence that the Most High was the one who changed humans into both apes and elephants. And so we're going to take a look at the scriptures today. And the first thing we're going to do is look at the book of Jasher. And we're going to look at this because it is mentioned in your scriptures twice, but we just kind of skate past it like it doesn't exist. So we're going to look at the 66 books first and take a look at where Jasher is mentioned, just so you guys can see the validity of the book of Jasher and why you need to take a look at it. So the first thing I'm going to do is share my screen. Um, once I do that, then we should be able to get rocking here. All right, let's see here. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to go to the book of Joshua, um, chapter number 10, verse 13. So the book of Joshua, chapter number 10, verse 13. Uh, verse 13 says, and the sun stood still and the moon stayed until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Is not this written in the Sefer of Jasher? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven and hastened not to come out about a whole day. So that's the first time the book of Jasher is mentioned in your scriptures. Now, there is another time it is mentioned in 2 Samuel and we're going to go to there real quick so you guys can see this, because I don't want you to think I'm giving you something that you can't look up yourself. Uh, second Samuel chapter number two, verse uh, uh, or, uh, second Samuel chapter number two, um, verse. Uh, let's see here. No, it's actually. Uh, let's see here. Second Samuel verse uh, chapter one, um, verse 18. And so then you see here, uh, verse 18 in your 66 book says, also, he bade them teach the children of Judah the use of the bowl. Behold, it is written in the Sefer of Jasher. So once again, we see the importance of why the book of Jasher is important. Now let's take a look at why they took it out. These are evidential, factual proof of why the Catholic Church removed certain books so that you would doubt the Most High and His power. You would doubt what He uh, can do and what He's able to do. And so we're going to look at something today that I want you guys to really, really take a look at. Um, in the book of Jasher, Chapter number nine, I'm going to start at verse 31. Now, just to catch you guys up to speed, this fills in the gaps of the Old Testament when it talks about the Tower of Babel. And I want you to understand there was a little bit more that happened at that tower that anybody talks about because it's in this book that was removed. But we're going to take a look at something that's going to blow you away. Verse 31 says, and they built the tower and the city, and they did this thing daily until many days and years were elapsed. And Elohim said to the 70 angels who stood foremost before him, to those who were near to him, saying, come, let us descend and confuse their tongues, that one man should not understand the language of his neighbor. And they did so unto them. So we can see right here is when the uh, uh, the tongues of men were confused because of them building the Tower of Babel, which we learned about in Sunday school. And from that day following, they forgot each man his neighbor's tongue, and they could not understand to speak in one tongue. And when the builder took from the hands of his neighbor lime or stone, which he did not order, the builder would cast it away and throw it upon his neighbor that he would die. 
And they did so many days and they killed many of them in this manner. And Yahuwah smote the three divisions that were there and he punished them according to their works and designs. Those who said we will ascend to heaven and serve our gods became like apes and elephants. So I want you to understand they scamified and turned that story around and said that we came from um, apes. But the truth of the matter is the most high changed humans into apes and elephants as a form of punishment because of the Tower of Babel. But nobody talks about this information because guess what? They removed it from the scripture. Now, let's take a look at the similarities between the uh, the the uh, the elephant and the human. Seven similarities between elephants and humans. Elephants mourn their dead. Elephants can recognize themselves in the mirror. Elephants are empathetic. Um, let's see here. I'm not going to sign up for that. Uh, so let's see. So in other words, when they gave you the story of evolution saying that we originated from apes, the truth of the matter is the most high is the one who actually changed humans into elephants and apes because of as a form of punishment because of the Tower of Babel. So the reality of it is they told us another lie. And this is another reason why this is removed from scripture, because you will never understand this if they don't put it in your face. So they took it out. Although the Bible talks about Jasher twice, it quotes it as a statement first, and then it comes around and quotes it as a question next. For some reason, we think that that book is not important. But when you take a look at that book, there's information in that book that really, really proves the lies and the scams that they told us in school, in church, and everywhere else. And you know my job is to always uncover the scams. And the reality is I don't care if it offends you or anybody else. We're going to look at what the Bible says and we're going to go off of what the Most High told us to go off of. And so at the end of the day, the book of Jasher is part of scripture and you better pick it up today and read it, learn it and get it in your spirit. I'm the ministry of Mel Kimball. Until next time, be blessed on purpose.